I've been playing Minecraft for many years now, but I've been playing tabletop RPG games even longer. And one of the things I've always wanted to do is to bring the dice aspect of RPGs into Minecraft. And I've never really been able to figure it out. How do you create a D20 or a 20-sided die in Minecraft? But I've thought about it over and over, and I think I finally came up with a way to do it in Redstone. So take a look. What I've got here is a little contraption that uses, now these are red mushroom blocks, but I think they kind of look like dice, to roll a random 20-sided die or a number between 1 and 20 randomly. So let me show you how it works. If I flip on the switch here, you'll see this dropper start to run. Now, if I step forward, you'll see a dice, mushroom block, hop into my inventory. You see on my hot bar, it's the number four. I throw it back in here, I step back, and the whole process starts over again. I step in, it stops, I pick it up, and it's a 12. So I throw it back in, I step back, and the process starts over. It's that simple. And I can turn it off, and that way I can walk in here and not pick any up. And you can see that it's a pretty simple design. There's not a lot of blocks here. It's not overly complicated. Some of my early designs were. And it seems to be pretty bomb-proof. So let me show you how I did it. So what I've done here is stripped out all the decorative blocks. And as you can see, there isn't a lot to this thing. There aren't a lot of redstone components. I did leave a couple of decorative blocks here because otherwise I'd have no place to put this pressure plate and this uh, lever. But uh, let me give you a quick rundown on what's happening here. If I turn on the switch, it pushes this piston up, which basically completes this circuit to get a clock going. Each time this clock fires, it moves one item through these droppers. So anything in this dropper moves up to this dropper. Anything in this one moves up to this one, one at a time. So one moves up, one moves up, one moves up. Now the interesting thing about droppers is when they're activated, they're random. So it's a one in nine chance of any particular dice moving up. The longer this runs, the more random it becomes as these dice get more and more mixed. Then out of this dropper here, they fall, and you can kind of see them peeking out there. They fall and immediately get sucked up by this hopper. They go back in, and it starts over. So all that's happening is those dice are looping through here, but they're becoming more and more random as they do it. If we look at the blocks required, you have nine pieces of whatever you want for redstone construction. I use white concrete just because it's easy to spot the redstone on it one sticky piston, three redstone torches, seven redstone dust, a green concrete block. Again, I use it to signify the sticky piston. You can use whatever block you want. A redstone repeater, four droppers, one hopper, and a lever, and then also a pressure plate. I use an acacia pre pressure plate just because it's orange, uh, but use whatever pressure plate you want. Down here are all the decorative blocks. Uh, I've got 10 oak planks, 6 spruce planks, uh, 3 spruce stairs, the green carpet, the item frame, and a mushroom block that I named D20. Uh, again, you can use any blocks you want for these. You don't have to put the pretty little sign on there. You don't even have to put the green carpet on top of the hopper. It's, it really serves no purpose. And then here are the dice. Now we can't do a 20-sided dice, but we have 20 different numbered dice, which are the mushroom blocks. So you can see them all here with the different numbers. And I just numbered them one through 20 on an anvil. Super simple to do this if you've never done it. You simply rename it. So in this case, I could rename it D20, or I could give it one of the numbers, the 20. And when I take this off, that becomes my 20 die. So here's layer one. The two concrete blocks, a redstone torch here, and the sticky piston facing up here, which automatically gets triggered by that redstone torch. Moving from here to layer two, I put in two redstone dust, 
and then added three concrete blocks around the sticky piston. Now moving up to layer three, these are decorative blocks. Again, whatever floor you have, you, these, these blocks can be whatever you want them to be. Uh, and then I added that green block on top of the sticky piston, a repeater facing towards the sticky block. Now, if you've not had a lot of experience with repeaters, you want to be facing the direction that you want it to go when you place it. And then, if you notice that sign there, I did that as a reminder to myself, we want to click on it once. We want to set it to one click. If you don't do that, it will burn out the redstone torch and it will never work properly. So you want to set that to one click. And you'll notice I also did the redstone dust here. If we come around back, I threw some redstone dust on here as well and added another uh, block of concrete here. Now moving on to here, we put the hopper and it's pointing right into this dropper. So when you place that, make sure you're pointing at the side of the dropper and you'll have to hold down the shift if you're in Java or whatever key you've got on, uh, on Bedrock Edition. Uh, and I can show you real quick how to do that. Let's break that. I'm holding down the shift key and pointing it at the side. If we go to the side here, you can see it goes right in there. I also added a lever and I added a pressure plate on top of these. Now the dropper here needs to be facing up. And the easiest way to do that is to just make sure you're above it and place it like that and you'll see the opening on top. Moving on to the next one here, I added another dropper on top of the one we just placed, added a little more concrete, and I don't think I pointed out this redstone torch here on the other layer, and that is powering this block right next to it. Okay, moving on to layer six, what we wanna do is add another redstone torch here, and then these two droppers, now these two droppers are a little different in that this one faces forward and this one faces downward. And we're moving on to layer seven. Layer seven is another block of concrete here and that is being powered by this redstone torch here, which then powers these two pieces of redstone dust. We're gonna add in our walls and floors. These can be any blocks you want, but I added one in underneath the hopper just to make it look better. And then this platform out here to represent the floor in the rest of the build. And then these walls, basically anything you see is, uh, uh, as wood here is a decorative block. And I put the stairs up here to make it look all pretty, but those function in no way whatsoever. Moving on then, I added some decorative touches. You don't have to add these at all but I did put some green carpet on top of the hopper just to give it a pretty look. And then I put a sign with the D20 named uh, mushroom block up here. And that is it. This is a fully functional unit right here. And that is all it took, except you need, i get rid of these items. You need the dice. So if we run this right now, you're gonna see nothing is happening. That's because there's no dice in here. So let's turn it back off. I've got all 20 dice here. I'll pull them into my inventory. And then what you're gonna do, make sure it's turned off or you could just be standing on the plate, which will turn it off. And then I just put them into the droppers here. Now I can only get nine into each dropper, but that's okay. And then I put the last two into the hopper here. All right, I step back and I fire it up. And you can see them starting to fire out of that dropper there. And we're gonna let this run for just a little bit, let it become random. One quick check you wanna make is that there is only one dice flowing through here. And see how the numbers are changing as it's flowing through? Check and make sure that you're not seeing the same number repeating. Uh, if you've made an error somewhere, sometimes that's the way it'll show up. 
The other thing is make sure you're only seeing one dice in here and that you're seeing no other blocks. So that'll mess things up too. But you can see it's operating perfectly fine. I step forward, stops the operation, and I picked up, I didn't see it come in, the number 12. Pitch it back in, step back, and it goes back through the cycle, step forward. That's the number two. Now did you notice right above my hot bar, the number two appeared for just a few moments? Oh, did you see what I just did? I did it intentionally, because I want to show you something. If you accidentally pick up more blocks, which you can do if you step back and then step back in, you have more blocks. If you just toss one in here, in a moment or two, it's going to come right back out into your inventory. So what you can do is just put it right back into these droppers or into the hopper. This will work with anything up to a maximum of, let me do my math, uh, 27 plus 4, which would be 31. You could do up to 31 random numbers in this configuration. You can do less. You could do like a D6 or a D10, and it will work, but you'll have bigger gaps, and there's a better chance that you won't get a dice each time. Uh, the D20 seems to work really, really well with this. And remember, if you liked this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, or best of all, share it. And if you didn't like this video, please keep it to yourself. Thanks for watching.